Hey y'all, welcome to Sweet Tea and Butterflies. Today we are doing a collaboration for the 12 days of Christmas. We are on day three. Oops, and I put day two on the thing. My bad. Ah, leave it to me to screw it up, right? Anyway, so our hosts are Brenda from Rustic and Lace DIY and Krista from Krista's Crafty Life. I will leave the um, playlist and links to both of their channels in the description box below. And we'll just get on with the video here. So I am making a cute little um, woodland, rustic woodland scene. Um, I'm using a log slice that I previously had painted. Um, I added a couple of little trees on there and now I'm working on the snowman. Looks like my editing software decided to jump way ahead on me while I was doing the voiceover. It's going to be one of those days, folks. Anyway, I'm painting the little snowman. Um, I'm painting the hat black and then I go in. As I was trying to say when my software cut off the voiceover. What a wonderful uh, experience with my software today. Anyway, I painted the body of the snowman with the Waverly White chalk paint and then went over it with um, a pearl white, it's, um, a metallic folk art paint. And then I took and did a little bit of um, well, I guess I painted the snowman before I put the trees on. So, okay. Um, I guess my software didn't mess up as much as I thought it did. I took um, some of these little Dollar Tree tree bottle brush trees and glued them onto the, the wood slice. And I had previously painted this wood slice. Um, I had... Um, we had gotten the wood slices from a local... A local person I don't Dee Dee got them so I'm not sure I don't remember who it was she got them from but we got a bunch of them and that was really cool so anyway here I am painting the body of the snowman with the Waverly white and then like I said I'll go in with that folk art uh, pearl white paint just to give a little bit of a, a shimmer to it so it doesn't look so flat and then I decided also to add a little bit of the ultra fine white glitter to it, as you'll see here sh shortly. Mm. <clears throat> Pardon me. So, um, I'm having a lot of fun doing these collabs, and I was hoping to make every day of the collab. I could not get my, when I was trying to work on my garland, um, yesterday, for yesterday's video, which was day two, I just could not, I don't know, my brain, my creativity was not there. I had an idea, but implementing it just was not working out. So I decided rather than stress myself out, I would go ahead and just skip it because it just wasn't meant to be. <laughs> Um, that happens occasionally in the crafting world. Um, and then I had taken in, because I had done it over to the side with the glitter. Um, you didn't see me sprinkle it on, but I sprinkled a little bit of that ultra fine white glitter on here. Now I'm just taking some of the black paint and trying to get, put the eyes and all of that on there. Um. I was having a hard time getting like a perfect round circle and kind of looks a little wonky, but then I got thinking about it. When we actually make a snowman, you know, we use rocks or, you know, traditionally used to use coal or whatever for the eyes and all that. And I was like, well, none of that is ever a perfect little circle. So... I went with it, left it be, did not continue to, to mess around with it. Because when I do that, I tend to screw it up even more. Let's face it. Um, that 
what usually happens when you keep messing with something. So I decided to leave it be because it actually, you know, fits a little bit more with the imperfection. Um, it's not a perfect little circle on there. So I glued the snowman down and I took one of these glittery reindeer, which I know that's not really rustic or woodland, but it was the only reindeer I had. And I, I don't know about you, but at Christmas, you know, I like the glittery at, and whatnot at Christmas. It just seems to bring a little bit more magic. So I took and put some hot glue down and took some of this faux snow to cover all around the, the base of it to create a really, um, really neat and a little bit shimmery, uh, winter scene. So this is a piece that, you know, not only can you keep up for Christmas, but you can, you know, continue, you don't have to put it away and keep it up a little bit longer where you can, you know, incorporate it into some winter decor after Christmas is over. If that's how y'all, um, do your decorating. Um, I know that there's a lot of people out there that'll just leave the Christmas stuff up a little bit longer because they absolutely love Christmas and there's nothing wrong with that. And then there are some that prefer to switch from Christmas to a winter decor and then, you know, continue to move on through each holiday slash season. So this is a, um, a piece that you can leave up for winter decor as well. And little pieces like this too make really, um, great housewarming gifts, Christmas gifts. Um, realtor gifts. Uh, I always forget when I'm promoting a lot of my, um, products. I always forget about the fact that it would make a good realtor gift too. It's, you know, inexpensive, but cute. And, you know, it's handmade. So it has a little bit more, um, meaning to it. That somebody, you know, either took the time to make a handmade gift for somebody or at least went looking for a handmade gift so that a gift that they gave would be a little more unique and um, meaningful because you've got a one of a kind. Even if I created two or three more scenes using the same elements, each one would still kind of be a one of a kind because with it being handmade it you know it's going to be different there's always going to be little differences in there but I thought it turned out really cute let me know what you think and I would love it if you guys would um, like subscribe comment share it helps my channel grow and don't forget to go to the playlist and watch all of the other amazing creators that are in that playlist to get some more um, winter ideas. Have a good night.